Good morning, my friends. It's Saturday morning, and we're going to have a fun video. No stress, no strain. Interesting. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you that we can sometimes take a break and learn at the same time and not get so serious. And this is one of those times, Lord. Lead, guide, and direct us, for it's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. I love to study the Word of God. I've told you that many times. Many of you love to study the Word of God. Sometimes the Word of God is misquoted. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> many times. And I'm going to give you some common sayings that people think are in the Bible, but they're not. The first one on my list is, this too shall pass. Sometimes when people are going through a tough time, maybe an illness, maybe a loss of life um, in the family, whatever the case might be, when things are difficult, somebody will sit back and say, well, the Bible says this too shall pass. It sounds like it comes from the Bible, and that there are things that relate to it, but the phrase, this too shall pass, you're not going to find it in the Bible. The second one on my list is, money is the root of all evil. And some of you just said, oh, I know this one. It's the love of money that is the root of all evil. That's emphasized in the New Testament. Yeah. Not money. No, you can work hard for your money. You can enjoy your money. You can pay bills with your money. But when you start to worship it and love it, then it causes you a problem. But there is no place in the Bible where it says money is the root of all evil. The love of money, that's a different story. The third one on the list is the Lord works in mysterious ways. Wow. I have to admit that in my early ministry, <clears throat> and maybe even lately, because sometimes I, my memory is not like it used to be, I used to, I used to quote this. God works in mysterious ways. Well, I know he does work in mysterious ways, but it is not a verse of Scripture. I can't tell you where it is because it's not in the Bible. It alludes to it in many places, but you're not going to find the Lord works in mysterious ways. Isn't that interesting? The seven deadly sins. Man says gluttony, greed, sloth, being lazy, lust, vanity, envy, and wrath are the seven deadly sins found in the Bible. Well, you need to go to Proverbs 6, 16 through 19, and there it talks about the things that God doesn't like. It talks about the six things that God doesn't like, and the seventh one is an abomination to him. Well, if you use the King James, it's six things the Lord hates. And the seventh is an abomination to him. You know what the seventh is? The abomination to God? Those that practice discord among the brethren. Those that gossip. Those that tell little lies. Not great big ones. Little lies that cause a lot of trouble. Yeah, people get that mixed up sometimes. Another common saying, God helps those who help themselves. Doesn't that sound like it should be in the Bible? It's not. God will help those that help themselves. He wants you to be on your own. He wants you to be strong. He wants you to go to the second mile, turn the other cheek. He wants you to do a lot of things. But it doesn't say 
that God helps those who help themselves. <laughs> I'm taking away some of your ammunition. Another common saying is cleanliness is next to godliness. Nope, it's not in the Bible. Cleanliness is next to godliness. My mother used to tell me, Alan, if you're dirty, God's not happy. And when you're clean, he really likes that. Well, I didn't understand what she was talking about then. So, you know, every once in a while I tried to wash behind my ears, you know, and, and all of that. But the phrase, cleanliness is next to godliness, not in the Bible. Okay, let's move on. Spare the rod and spoil the child. Now, how many times have you heard somebody say that? Nope, not in the Bible. There's many things that allude to train up a child in a way that he should go, and when he gets old, he'll not depart from it. And it does talk about the rod, but it doesn't say um, spare the rod and spoil the child. No, I don't know where it came from, but I know it's not in the Bible. And um, this one is common. A lot of people mistake this for Scripture. Pride cometh before a fall. You've heard that many times. Usually it's talking about Satan fell to sin because he got prideful and he wanted to be like God. I will, I will, I will, I will, I will. The five I wills so that he's going to be didn't want to just be like God. He wanted to be God. He wanted to be better than God. Pride cometh before a fall. <laughs> well, you can say that as a saying, but it's not in the Bible. And the last one on my list is the three wise men. <laughs> oh, sometimes people get a little bit upset with me about this one. It says nowhere in our Bible whether it's King James, New American, New, New Standard, um, Good News, no. Nope. It doesn't say that they were three wise men. They, history's got them named. And um, I, I just can't think of them right now, right off the top of my head. But the Bible does not say that there were three wise men or only three wise men. There could have been many more than that. Um, one of the reasons that they come up with the number three is because the wise men brought gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And they just assumed that each one gave a gift and, and that was it. This is just a fun time to emphasize this too shall pass. No, nope, not in the Bible. Money, the root of all evil, not found there. The Lord works in strange, mysterious ways. No, nope, you won't find it. Gluttony, greed, sloth, lust, vanity, envy, and wrath. Oh, they're all talked about in the Bible, but never together and called the seven deadly sins. No man put those together. Theologians put those together. But you can read in Proverbs 6, 16 through 19, about the things God hates. Yeah. And in King James, it says he hates those things. And anybody sowing discord among the brethren, that's an abomination to God. Wow. Another, um, um, and, and I'll just read these briefly. Um, God helps those that help themselves. No, you won't find it in the Bible. Cleanliness is next to godliness. Not there. Spare the rod, spoil the child. Pride cometh before a fall. Won't find him in the Bible. And the three wise men? No. I don't want to ruin the story of the three wise men, and I'm not telling you this. I'm just telling you what's in the Bible and what isn't. And there's many, many more. I just used a short. I'm just taking a break from 
being a little bit stressful sometimes in, in the videos. And this is kind of a fun thing to teach you at the same time. <laughs> Let us pray. Thank you, Father God, for the, this list of items that are not in the Bible. And um, we're glad to learn, Lord. We're glad to know and glad to study. Let us be workmen that needeth not be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. It's in your name we pray. Amen. You have a good weekend. You'll see this on Monday. Bye-bye.